KYT Sports locked out here in beautiful, sunny Culver City, California. Rick Strom with you, though the Philadelphia Eagles organization, specifically Riley Cooper, I'm sure is feeling anything but beautiful today. Uh, a video came out last June, though it just came to light today. Ironically, the week of Jeremy Macklin's ACL tear that leaves Riley Cooper at the number two uh, position on the depth chart, the wide receiver position, obviously behind Deshaun Jackson. Now he's number one, guys. Many people know what I'm referring to. Anyways, he was at a Kenny Chesney concert and he decided to unleash a racial uh, term that we do not accept on these airwaves, though we are going to discuss. This video is via Crossing Broad. He got into a confrontation with a black security guard, and this is what he said. I, I will jump that gate and fight every nigger here, Joe. I, I will jump that gate and fight every nigger here, Joe. Yeah, that's nice. That's real, real nice, Bradley Cooper. He's making an ass out of himself. And he's making an ass out of the Philadelphia Eagles organization. Now, the Kenny Chesney concert was at the Link, as they like to call it, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. Uh, if you are one of those people that is questioning whether it's real and whether it's real, whether it is real and questioning the authenticity of this exact video, I will throw a link in the description below. Okay, I remembered. Uh, to him going up on stage and kind of not really making an ass out of himself. He's just being drunk and stupid on stage and he's wearing the same exact clothing. My specific take on this is I like to try and put it into the perspective uh, of, you know, if he were to say, I don't know, uh, you know, that, that Jewish bastard, that fucking kike. Oh, yeah, I'm so happy the Holocaust happened, happened Hitler. Uh, I'd be pissed as shit. If that was my teammate, how can I be able to trust him when I trusted him as a person who does not hate what I am? For those who don't know already, I'm a Jew. If that were me, how, how can I instill my trust in him as a friend and or a teammate? The big question with all of this, I'm sorry, I'm going through puberty, my voice is cracking, is if the players, the fellow players on his team will accept his apology, not only that he gave to the media today, and it was somewhat of a long media session, maybe about 10 minutes in front of a ton of reporters. But the big question is, will his teammates accept that? Will they say, you know what, let's put it past. Uh, let's, let's, let's put it past all of us, and let's just rally together as Eagles. I'm sure a lot of people are not going to. It's gonna, like, if that were to happen to you, how do you not think about it and it's in the back of your mind every time you, you see him and you look at him? I mean, that's just, that's just my take on it. I believe in second chances. Riley Cooper will get a second chance. There's no doubt about it. And for those people who are saying, oh, well, he's, he's young, he's 25 years old. I'm 25 years old. Oh, but he's from the South. Doesn't matter. Shouldn't matter where you're from. You shouldn't use that kind of language. Now, producer J.R. Jackson had this to say about the whole thing, that he should educate himself, that he should learn and he should get counseling and he should try to educate himself on why exactly he said that and what the roots are to this problem that has occurred in this video via Crossing Broad. You guys can leave that. I'll, I'll leave that to you guys in the comments for you guys to discuss that. The big question is, would you then cut him? and just eat up whatever, whatever salary you have to eat in his contract, whatever it is, if you cut a player like that who is still on, uh, on your team. Because, out of anything, you are going to create something, if you leave him there, potentially, that the locker room is going to be completely split with the people who back Riley Cooper and the people who do not back Riley Cooper. The people that are going to say, oh, let's give him a second chance, and the people who are going to have it in the back of their minds and say, no, 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 fuck him, forget about him. So if you were the GM, would you cut him or would you not cut him? Leave a thought in the comment section below. I'll try to get to as many as I can. Give us a thumbs up. That'd be cool. Share with your friends. And most importantly, subscribe to TYT Sports.